Okay, so what we've got here is a single arm row with rotation. And what often people struggle with is not only working their back muscles, but in order, in order for them to work the back muscles, especially on the TRX, is to stay engaged throughout the whole exercise. Now this one really helps you not have to cheat. You cannot cheat doing this one because in order for you to be able to get the best out of it or the most out of it, the glutes, the legs need to be nice and strong. So once we're in this position, I'm not gonna be trying to shift the weight because then most of the weight is gonna be on the arms. So the legs are the most important part. And what happens is if you have sort of one side uh, stronger than the other, you'll often find that the body is trying to now be balanced and symmetrical. So I'm using the other arm to pretend that I've got another TRX handle in my hand. And then I start to turn away, keeping that, and I open out my chest. And I rotate through the shoulder, back there, and then I'm going to row low to the body. So common mistakes that you often will find, as mentioned, is people will just let their body drop through their legs and then try to just throw themselves up. We've got to remember that we're trying to really play with working the back muscles and being engaged through not only the glutes, legs, but also the core. So we want to just make sure everything is super tight, the base is correct, the core's on, rotate, there's no twisting of the hips. I rotate through the shoulder, square up, shoulders are in line, so I'm not trying to finish like this, and I pretend that I'm basically using a TRX as, a, as a, an imaginary tool to help me row together. Now for this exercise, uh, you first of all need to modify the, the length of the TRX to make sure it's modified to your ability, but then also making sure that your foot position is set up so it's either easy or harder. So wider stance is going to be most preferable, and if you have it narrow, it makes it even harder to work so again, there's multiple uh, options that you have. So I'd advise a nice, strong, wide stance with soft knees. But if you, as you want to make it a little bit harder, you can either go more forward or more inwards with your feet. Okay, give that a go. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a DM at any time.